Hey everybody, how is it going? I hope all of you are having a fantastic day thus far. Mine's been pretty good. It's Wild Wednesday and, and I have a fantastically wild one for you. Um, in case you haven't uh, read by the title of it, it's from uh, 2004. It stars Michelle Bobak, uh, Tamara Pender, Daniel Lomas, uh, Ryan Hanneman, and Bob Scattergood. And this is uh, directed by none other than Ryan Nicholson. i got to make sure I cover this part up. And that is none other than Torched. Yes, yes, yes. It's, this is the uh, uh, the restored charbroiled edition. Um, it is from Plot Digger Films. Let me see if I got anything on the back here that needs to be covered. Not that I see there, so we're pretty good. I got number 640 out of 666. That's pretty good, um, I guess. I would rather have 666 or uh, at least under the in the 100 range, you know. But honestly, I could care less. It's a, it's a great film, one that I really thoroughly enjoyed. Um, like I said, this is from 2004. Um, this is brought to you by Ryan Nicholson, the same guy that did Live Feed, Gutter Balls, uh, Star Vehicle, a.k.a. Bleeding Lady, um, uh, uh, Gutter Balls 2, um, Collar, a whole bunch of others, other ones in there that I'm just forgetting to throw out. Uh, Hanger is a fantastic one. I will review that at some point. Um... I kind of wanted to wait on doing any Ryan Nicholson ones until the Unearthed Films releases come out, but I, I just rewatched this like a couple of weeks ago, and, and it keeps itching in the back of my head to to finally do a review of this because it is a fantastic film. It is very, very raw, very, very surreal almost. It's like it, it's unbelievable the the things that are going on in this film. Uh, it only runs at about 45 minutes, and of course it's not rated like I believe none of his films are rated. Um, if any of them, I imagine probably Star Vehicle or or something earlier in his career. Um, I know most of his, uh, his uh, work was through special effects. The guy was a special effects wizard. He did some amazing things with his... With his talents, um, rest in peace. By the way, Ryan Nicholson. Um, I hope every. I hope that you are doing well up in heaven, and that uh, people will forgive all, forgive and forget every everything that went wrong there in the uh, end of your career. Um, you know, you were a fantastic director. You uh, always had something gritty and raw that always kept my attention. Something that. That always made me feel feel like I needed a bath afterward, a shower afterwards, because it was so so like obscene in areas, you know. And that's what I love about it. It's so so good. Um, now, what is this one about? Like, it's basically this. It's a rape revenge film. This girl right here uh, on the co cover here, she she was brutally brutally raped by by somebody. Uh, there's five different suspects that she, she feels that are the ones that, that did it. Uh, so she goes through and, and tortures the, uh, a majority of these people. Um, she gets, I want to say she gets, she almost gets raped a second time and that's what makes her go off and off the deep end. Um, I know there's some amazing effects in this, very cringy. Uh, uh, if you are scared of penis torture, do not watch this one. Um, if you're afraid of being, of, of stuff being roasted and torched, do not watch this one. Um, it is very, very raw. Like I said, it's very gritty. It's something that will stick with you for days afterwards, if not years. Um, it, it gets so rough in there. I can cover a little Let's go a little more. Let's there we go. Let's push the boundaries a little bit. All right, see there we go. There's nothing wrong. I'm I'm covering it up. <laughs> all right, guys. Uh, so so she's going through a rape revenge on all five of these guys. Uh, one of them, as a matter of fact, is a, she get is one of the guys is is like raped brutally himself over and over again by this um this junkie who she pay junk that she pays to come in and and do 
do this to him. And all the while, this this uh, addict doesn't know that she's doing that. Like the guy is not wanting this. Uh, he's purely being tortured. Um, that and that sh there is definitely one hell of a vendetta going on there. Um, now, as far as uh, 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 special effects go, like I said, they are very, very, very good. Um, there's some penis torture in there that made me cringe, and I is still to this day thinking about it. Makes my it makes my genitalia like shrink up and want to pack up his things and go inside because he's scared. <laughs> Um, and you know, and then at one point when you're watching this and you see her torch this dude, it's, you can almost like, it's so, so in your face, like you can almost smell the flesh. That's how, how good the effect was done on this. It, uh, uh, it's just cringy, cringeworthy stuff. Now this one only, like I said, it only runs at about 45 minutes. So I can't tell a whole lot about this because, there is things I, you know, as usual, I don't like to uh, uh, give away too much of the film. Um, I'm going to go ahead and drop that now. I'm tired of holding it up. <laughs> uh, so, like, there's there's so much to add to the film. Like, like she's a nurse, by the way, and, and she feels like one of her... She feels like her, the doctor that's her, her boss is possibly one of the people that raped her. Now... She goes off on on the deep end with all of these people. Um, there is an amazing, amazing, like horrible death scene that involves a skill saw, I believe, or a hand saw, like an electric saw, and and it just, whew, it is brutally rough, and it you know it's it's one that will also stick with you forever. Uh, <laughs> um, <coughs> is this is probably. I would say this and Hanger are his most mean-spirited films uh, uh, because Hanger has a lot of rough stuff in there. Um, uh, Gutterballs is very mean-spirited as well. That's basically his style. He was mean-spirited, but he had some comedy scattered throughout most of his films. Uh, I don't. I didn't really notice any in Torched, so it was hard to laugh at any of it in, during, while watching it. Um, now, as far as what I would rate this one, uh, on the technical side, it's probably like a three, you know, middle of the road. Uh, it's it's just a short, so there's not, you're going to have giant plot holes in there because you're not given a, a deeper delve into the backstory of all these people. And, and do you feel sympathy for any of them that are being tortured by her or not? Uh, who is the who is the uh, the real rapist? Who is the real victims at this point? You know, it's it gets pretty brutal. Um, so I give it a three on on the technical side. Now, as far as an entertainment side, I would probably give it a three as well. Uh, it's other than the gore gags, it's kind of dull. I feel like, unfortunately. Um, the story has been played out a little bit. I know, I know there's, there's still good rape revenge films that come out, but there's just been so many of them. It's time to, uh, uh, dial the notches, dial the notch back on that one. Um, we did the, uh, of course I spit on your grave and the, uh, remakes of that, um, which were all, at least I liked the first two of the, the, uh, the new I spit on your graves. And then, of course, you got, uh, um, oh, shoot, uh, uh, the, the Abel Farrar film, um, Miss 45, which is fantastic. Probably one of my favorite rape revenge movies that there is. There's also Vengeance or Thriller, or they call her One Eye, whatever you want to call it. That one is an amazing one. Um, I will do a re-review of that. I did one... Uh, months and months and months ago on Facebook. Uh, don't worry, I'm not gonna get do it anytime soon. It'll probably be like a year or so now. Um, I want to re go back and redo it, all my Facebook ones and make sure that they're uh, uh, archived forever on the YouTube or at least as long as I let them stay on there or or until uh, YouTube decides that they no longer wish to have them on there. Um, <laughs> which I, you know, I doubt that they'll boot me, 
Um, because I'm not doing anything wrong. I'm not copy using any copyrighted stuff. I'm not stealing any music or anything. I'm just talking about some movies. Um, now, as far as any kind of trivia on this one, the only thing I really found was that it was filmed in like four days, which is pretty fast for for a sh uh, a film. But you know, it's like I said, it's only running at forty five minutes. Um, so that was, you know, that's about it. It's it's pretty cut and dry at that point. All right, guys. I hope all of you have a fantastic day. I love each and every one of your faces, as always. I, I hope you like, share, and subscribe. Uh, thank you, Peter. Thank you, Kyle, for all your your input uh, yesterday because that really uh, cheered me up and made my day a lot better. Uh, made my made me my reasoning for doing these corny little videos uh, more pop, more uh, special and more uh, mean something a little more to me. All right, y'all.